are polyamorous relationships worth the extra effort or are the partners just masochists? So my name is Martha. I'm a clinical sexologist with a doctorate in human sexuality and um, I'm also a relationship coach. You can find me at uh, eroscoaching.com. Okay, um, polyamorous relationships are when there's more than two people involved in the relationship, usually three, and um, uh, people who choose to have this kind of relationships um, definitely um, have more complications. And the reason why they choose to do that is because I feel of who they are. And it's not what they choose to be. They don't know any other way to be that. And uh, uh, this could be biological, the way that they were born this way. This could be because of uh, cultural influences, of uh, things that happened as they were growing up. Uh, whatever it is, uh, it's uh, very much like an orientation. You know how we talk about people who are heterosexuals or homosexuals or bisexual. So there are also people who identify as um, polyamorous, which means that this is very much who they are. I know that there are people who experiment about being in different types of relationships to see if it works with, for them. So this is different from what I'm talking about. I'm talking about those people who, who see that this is who they are. So for those people who see this as uh, who they are, they don't feel that they have a choice. They feel that this is who they are. And so for them, it would be worth the extra effort. They would want to do this. They would do the extra effort of uh, communicating, negotiating, and setting boundaries and all these other things to upkeep and maintain the relationship because this is worth it for them. This is who they are. Um, and uh, to call them as masochists, which means they are, in, they are into pain, they are into torturing themselves or torturing others, um, that is uh, just one way of looking at it. And I would very much disagree with that. So for those people who experiment with it and find that um, this is not who I am or this is not for me, this is, um, this is um, uh, not right for me, uh, it's okay because you learn from it and then you decide for yourself that's not for you. But please don't uh, go around and say that polyamory is bad because it's not, it's not necessarily bad for some people. And just because you have a bad experience, it doesn't mean that other people are bad or that um, you know, these people are, uh, have, have like mental conditions and stuff like that. So we really need to be looking at people as individuals and not dismissing them. And it's really important that we have more awareness and more uh, compassion for people who are just different from you. Just because they're different from you, it doesn't make them a bad person or it makes them wrong. So this is Martha of Arrows Coaching and I'd love to hear from you, your comments. You can post it below. And also, if you have questions, you can drop me an email at ask at arrowscoaching.com. So that's where I'm taking the questions and I'm making them into videos. Yeah, so yes, so do check out my website. That's erscoaching.com.